Hey YouTube, hey everybody, this is me, I am back, and from the title, you can see that it is going to be about my hair today. Um, I have a tale to tell everybody. Um, I am transitioning, as, as I said in my last video, I've been transitioning now since November of last year, so for about nine months now, wait, yeah, about nine months. So, I haven't been having the worst time, but I haven't exactly been having the easiest time either. I don't want to make it seem like I'm like, it's a walk in the park and honey, anybody can do it because transitioning is hard, you know, being natural and being relaxed. I think it's all hard. It all depends on how well you take care of your hair, but I think in particular, transitioning is hard. You know, you're dealing with the two textures, you're trying to figure out to keep your hair from breaking and things like that. So my tale today is how I, um, I guess my wash days and the products that I use to keep my hair soft. So I'm hoping that this video will help a fellow transitioner or anybody really, that will help a fellow transitioner or anybody and you know, how learning how to maintain their hair and taking care of their hair because like I said, it's not easy. And I don't want to make it seem like it's extremely hard either because it's not. It's just figuring out the products that work for your hair and sticking with those products and, you know, you should be fine. But um, I don't have a particular time that I wash my hair. It's usually about a week and a half that I wash my hair just because I don't want to deal with my hair. So, um, um, you know, I have about maybe two inches of new growth, you know, it comes, I have a fair amount. So, you know, I just don't want to be dealing with it more than I have to, which is why I probably washed about a week and a half. I don't think I've ever get to two weeks out of not washing my hair. So I would say sometimes a week, sometimes a week and a half. It just depends. And sometimes it could be twice in one week because my husband and I, we do the insanity workout and it is insane. So we, I sweat a lot and I sweat a lot, a lot, a lot in my head, which is why I had to give up the heat. Well, that was the main reason why I had to give up the heat. I am not afraid to use heat. If I want to wear my hair straight, I will. I'm not afraid of heat damage. I, I know it can happen, but you know, you can get into a car accident when you get in your car. So that means it's not going to stop me from going places. So, I mean, I still have to go where I have to go. So I'm still going to apply heat in my head if I want to wear my hair straight. I'm going to wear my hair straight because, you know, transitioning, it's very easy to just flat iron your hair and just not deal with the two textures. But I feel like it kind of defeats the purpose of transitioning because the whole purpose to transitioning, I think, is going to help you learn to take care of your hair. So when you're natural, you're going to know how to take care of your hair. I think that's one of the beautiful things of transitioning that big choppers don't get. You know, a lot of times I hear people big chop and they don't know how to take care of their hair. They're like, okay, now I have this natural hair. What the hell do I do with it? You got to learn. Whereas I feel with transitioning, you are dealing with your new growth as well as your relaxed hair. So you're learning how to take care of your natural hair regimen just like two weeks ago because I am experiencing a lot more than usual breakage. And I assume it's just because I'm transitioning in my hair. I feel like it's getting weak from... I don't know. I just feel like it, it needs a little more oomph. So I started to apply more protein into my regimen. Before, I didn't really hardly ever use protein. And that's probably where my problem was, is that I was just using more moisture-based products. And I feel like my hair is, it needs to be strong to be able to deal with these two textures at one time. So before I switched over to the other regimen that I've just started doing, I was using this shampoo. And I got it from Target. Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out. I'm on my webcam. I got it from Target. I don't don't remember how much it was. And I'm sorry because it irritates me when people show products and they're like, I don't remember how much it was. And so here I am being annoying and irritating. But it's the Queen Helene, Helene, Helene Royal Curl. Now, I have the type of hair that every shampoo dries it out. It doesn't matter if it's sulfate-free, if it has sulfate in it. Actually, it seems to me that the, more, the sulfate free shampoos are more drying to my hair than the, the shampoos with sulfates in it, which is really weird because sulfates are supposed to be drying, but it seems like every time I buy a shampoo that has no sulfates in it, my hair is unbelievably dry to the point where I cannot get to my new growth to clean my scalp. This lets me get to my scalp. This is the only shampoo that I've used, and this is sulfate free. It's, it says it's free of sulfates, petroleum, parabens, and 
I don't even know what that other word is. Oh, let's see if I can use it now. Deep conditioners, I don't have a particular deep conditioner just because I am a product junkie. And when I say I'm a product junkie, I am a huge freaking product junkie. I will buy any and everything. If it says it's going to keep your hair soft, long, manageable, shiny, anything. It, I am a, I fall for everything. So I buy a lot of things. So I don't have a deep conditioner right now that I use that, that, I could say like this is my staple deep conditioner. I just use whatever the hell I have in my house because I'm trying to get rid of it. Um, so, excuse me. These are the two, the last the two times that I washed my hair, I've used Affigy. And I know lots of people have heard of Affigy, so I'm not even going to go into explaining them. The, um, when, I, when I washed my hair for my birthday, I just used this one. But this last time, which was like two days ago, I used them both. I used this one first, the shampoo for damaged hair. Even though I don't really feel like my hair is damaged, I just feel like it's more of a preventative um, measure just to keep my hair from getting damaged. And then I used this one to kind of put a little bit of moisture back into my hair. And these are both not very stripping on my hair. I feel like um, when I used them, my hair was not extremely dry. I didn't feel like I couldn't manage it. If like I could comb my fingers through it, my new growth with no problems, I just... You know, these are not too bad. And then once I shampooed my hair with those, I will then go in and use the two minute keratin reconstruct or the keratin two minute reconstructor. I usually leave this in for about five minutes. If I am in the shower, like trying to not get out and trying to make this um, quick, I, I'll just leave it on as long as it, it might not even be two minutes. But if I'm making a whole production out of it, then I leave it on my hair for five minutes. It, it can be left on there for five minutes if you feel you need. So um, when I'm done and I go to put like my leave-ins in, if I'm flat ironing my hair, I put in a lot more products because I want to make sure that my hair, it gets as straight as possible. And, um, you know, I, I should say I want to make sure my new growth gets as straight as possible. So if I am flat ironing my hair, I will, well, I will put this in regardless if I'm flat ironing my hair or not. Actually, that's not true because I did not put this in my hair the last time I washed my hair. And this is the um, keratin, uh, keratin and green teen reconstructorizer. It strengthens and instantly builds body and protects color and, and chemical services. I don't do chemical services anymore, but... Um, it's just one of those things where it controls frizz and for damaged hair and things like that. And I... I'm just trying to keep my hair as strong as possible, which is another reason why I do it. And I know some people are probably thinking, like, oh my God, she's going to like protein overload. My hair, I think, actually likes protein before when I was using these. Because I've had these products for a really long time, these shampoos. The Reconstructor and this I just recently purchased. But I've had these two shampoos for years. Like probably two or three years. They've just been sitting somewhere because like it's a product junkie. I have a lot of crap. Um... So like I said, if I am flat ironing my hair, then I will go ahead and add the Paul or the John Frieda Frizz Ease. They have a different one. I didn't see it until I was in the Target like another time. They have one that's a heat protectant version of this, which is what I would have gotten, obviously. But I didn't see it until like much later. But um, I add this just to my roots. Even though it says on here, do not add to your roots. I add them straight to my roots and I make sure that my hair is sopping wet when I apply them to my roots. And the reason I do that is because it eliminates frizz. And I feel like my new growth, my natural hair is just naturally more frizzier than my relaxed hair. I don't really put it in my relaxed hair. I just focus it on my new growth. What I do put in the whole length of my hair is the um, Paul Mitchell Smoothing Skinny Serum. Super Skinny Serum. It's a smoothing anti-frizz kind of dry, um, moisturize. And that is, these two in particular, these two together is a godsend. Like, I can hear the angels in my head singing right now because it's that amazing. Um, I'm a little upset that it took me this long to figure it out because I had been struggling and struggling with dry hair. And I think that's one of the main reasons why my hair has just been shedding and breaking so much because it's so dry that when I comb it, it's just like pop, 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 pop and everywhere. And, um, 
just like today when I comb my hair, I mean, I still had a couple of strands on my shirt, but nowhere near the amount that I was getting before. Like usually my hair would be all in the sink and it'd be all on the floor. I could hear it hitting the floor. Not really, but I'm just saying I could, you know, if it's coming off in here, it's hitting the floor too. But like this morning, I sprayed my hair last night with this and then I put this through the length of my hair and I woke up this morning to do it again and I had really no problems. My hair felt really soft when I woke up. Like this to me will be what I use from now on unless somebody tells me something that works even better. But it they work amazing for me and I'm going to tell you what it is. This is the Garnier Routise, the Triple Nutrition nutrient spray you it's a dual action thing you just shake it up like this I just shake it shake it shake it like this and then I spray only my new growth with this and well no I spray my new growth with it I'll spray like here like let's say I was spraying my hair here and then I would part it to get into the middle part of it and then I would like take my brush and brush it through and then I will spray like a little just like a real quick spray on the ends of my hair and then I like it because it doesn't make my hair wet it um, it just moisturizes my hair. Like I was using S curl, and that worked just the same. Like I got the same results. But S curl wets your hair, and sometimes I have to be careful with wetting my hair because it can be counterproductive. Like I can wake up and my hair can be just as dry as it was before. But if this doesn't make my hair feel wet. It just I don't know what it does to my hair. It just makes it feel really nice and happy. And I like when my hair is nice and happy. And then I take this, the Cantu Shea Butter. The Grow Strong Strengthening Treatment. I'm not sure what this actually is because and that's how I feel about all Cantu products. I don't know what the hell you actually do unless it's a shampoo or conditioner. But um, I put this the whole length of my hair and then I just sleep with my hair in a bun. I don't really do anything particular with it or anything special because I'm not very... Really... When I do style my hair, this is what I put in my hair. It technically can be used as a moisturizer. I have used it as a moisturizer, but I don't feel like it straight, it's, um, softens up my new growth or does anything to my hair like these two do, so I will not use it for that. Like when I twist my daughter's hair, I put this into her hair, and this is the Care Care Buttercream Everyday Moisturizer. I got this from Ulta, and I totally did not say the price on any of these things. I am so sorry. I'll put that all down in the description bar because I'm horrible at this, I guess. But that is what I do with my hair. And once again, I blabbed and I really said nothing about anything. But hopefully this video helped somebody else out or will help someone else out. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask me if you want to know any more. If you want to know further details about any of the products, if you want to see a wash day or anything like that, please let me know. I am um I embrace questions and things like that. Um Thanks for watching my video and thanks for hanging in there because I know that I got a little long-winded and I know that it was really long, but I appreciate it and uh, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.